Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about 5.1 setup. Most of the time I don't uh, get too interested in home theater. I got to be honest with you, to me it's, it can be very messy uh, from a design uh, perspective. More energy in rooms is never welcome. It doesn't make my job any easier. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, one speaker in the room would be perfect. But obviously mono is not something most of us want anymore. Although it has a viable uh, system in, in setting up a two-channel system to get your image focused. We always use male mono voice uh, for when we center our image in the two-channel setups. But 5.1 setup we know is, you know, front, rear, front and rear speakers, center, left and right, subwoofer. So the point one is this uh, special effects channel, so to speak, that they grant for that. So. I think it's low frequency effects, LFE. So we just finished a project. Well, almost finished. We're getting some new gear. Oh boy, new gear. <laughs> Everybody likes new gear, new boxes. So Michael's Room is a project we just finished. Uh, we did it over some months. Um, we treated the front wall, the side walls, the rear wall. Then we did videos about each treatment and what we heard differently. And then we focused on the gear, we moved the subwoofer out, and then we got some new electronics, new amplifier, new processor, new cables, and new speaker stands, our new technology, our new carbon technology in the speaker stands. You'll be able to see all that in upcoming videos. But what I quickly realized by working in Michael's room is that setup is so important. Front, center, left, right, rears, it's all critical. And the photos I see in room forms, what people do for setup, it's the opposite of what you should be doing, okay? So you gotta really realize that setup is critical. Let's talk about front of the house. We'll borrow a term from uh, the live uh, music industry. So the front of the house is our left channel, our center channel, and our right channel. Those three channels have to be in the same sound field. So if we have a speaker here and a speaker here, a lot of times the center channel's down here. I've seen it up here. Uh, I've seen it in places I don't even want to talk about. So the bottom line here is, it's got to be in the same sound field, okay? That's it. Because all of these three channels work together to create a cohesive sound stage. And if you've got one speaker firing from the floor, you got one firing from the ceiling, it's just going to be a nightmare. So we looked in, in Michael's rig and his setup, how important those three variables are, left, center, and right. And watch the video, you'll be able to see what happened there. Here's another problem, Mary, these rear channel speakers. Now Michael's room is a small room, actually a living room, and we have small monitors. So we can move them around easy. We can put them on stands, move them around, position them, tune the room. It's amazing. The difference proper setup with rear channels does. You can actually take the image, if you get the rears and the front of the house balanced, you can actually put that image right in front of your listening position, right in the center of the room, if you really uh, follow the right rules. And we gotta have height, we gotta have distance, all that's gotta be matched. When engineers record things in 5.1, they use a the setup that you see here. You can see the distances in the graphic. You can see how precise they're calculated. You can even see the angles they're placed at within the room position. All that's important. A lot of people take those as a starting point, but they never end up close to those situations. So you gotta be very, very careful. The point one or the low frequency effects channel, placement, critical. Just like place, placement is front, center, left, right. Okay, that's very important. So is the subwoofer. Everything has to work together as a system. And stop doing this, well, I had a place for it, so I put it there. That is the last strategy you should have. That's the last tactic you should use in any kind of sonic strategy because it's not good physics should do a video on good physics. So the bottom line here is you got to use the system approach and everything is important. Remember, getting good sound quality is about doing a lot of little things 
correctly, but more importantly, in the correct order. So when we're treating rooms, we apply that philosophy, and you should apply that philosophy when you're setting up your home theater systems. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.